Hi guys! I'm Griffin. And I'm Zach. And today, we're gonna talk about Rutherford's Gold Foil Experiment. Yeah! Alright, so before Rutherford's Gold Foil Experiment, scientists used... Plum Pudding Model! Yeah! Okay, so here, I have a representation of the Plum Pudding Model of the atom, which consists of this blob, which is a positively charged mass, and scattered within are these negatively charged particles, represented by these circles with minus signs in them. Oh yeah! The experiment. So, Rutherford was unsure that the plum pudding model of the atom was accurate. In an attempt to disprove the plum pudding model, Rutherford took a piece of gold foil, surrounded it in zinc sulfide, and shot at our particles at it. And I'm going to demonstrate this by throwing stuff at Griffin. What? Although I'm very angry that Zach threw these balls at me, it does help to demonstrate the experiment. The balls that didn't hit me represent the alpha particles that went through the gold foil and did not hit the nucleus. And these ping pong balls that did hit me represent the alpha particles that hit the nucleus and reflected off the gold foil. So after Rutherford saw these results, he was able to conclude that the plum pudding model was not accurate. And he came up with a model of his own. The Rutherford model. Yeah! model shows that this positively charged nucleus is surrounded by this negatively charged cloud of electrons. In the experiment, the alpha particles that made it through went, did not touch this nucleus and went through the cloud. The ones that didn't hit the nucleus and bounced off. Alright guys, so that's all we have for you today. Hey Zach, watch out. For what?